What's up everybody, my name is Alex Chung, and today we are talking about the latest firmware update for the Canon EOS R. Now in this video, I'm just gonna be focusing on the filmmaking side of things because that's primarily what I do for work. So this new update is definitely a huge firmware update for the Canon EOS R, and in firmware 1.2.0, they brought over IAF to the video side of things. And that was really, really exciting for us videographers, but now in 1.4.0, they've actually improved a lot on the IAF. And from what I've been noticing and experiencing, you can now track people's eyes from a lot further away. Before, it only really worked when you were maybe one or two feet away from the person, but now you can stand like six or seven feet back and still be able to accurately track the subject's eyes. Now, I do wanna note that I'm testing this new firmware update using the Canon 16 to 35 millimeter F2.8 Mark II at the 35 millimeter end. And if you're on the 16 millimeter end, you're definitely gonna to need to get a little bit closer to your subject in order for IAF or even face detection to kick in. But to be honest, I'm never at the 16 millimeter end of that lens when I'm filming people. Now being able to stand six to seven feet back while still retaining really accurate eye detection and face detection is really helpful when I'm shooting weddings. There are definitely times where I need to be a little bit further back. I don't wanna get in the way of the guests and stuff like that. And I can't be you know, in the faces of the bride and groom. Sometimes they don't even like that. So I would have to be standing you know, five or six feet away. In the past, when I'm on firmer 1.2.0, I'll be standing on the side during the ceremony and sometimes the camera will focus on the back of the bride instead of the groom's face, which was clearly visible. And for some reason, the EOS R wouldn't latch on to the face and it would just focus you know, on the back of the bride, which is not very really helpful at all. But now with the latest firmware update, I'm not so scared of those situations ever happening again. And the speed at which IAF detects a subject's eye is actually really, really fast. Um, it's almost instantaneous. As soon as it sees the person's eyes, it'll just lock onto it. And that's really important when I'm filming weddings, uh, especially when I'm on a gimbal, I'm moving around, there's, you know, people all around me. I have to watch out for people left and right. And I can't be focusing on the monitor of the camera all the time. So that's when something like a really, really accurate IAF and face detection on the EOS R really helps me when I'm shooting. And it also has no problem when people are wearing sunglasses, which to me was very surprising. They'll still lock on focus to the eyes even though they're blocked. The only times where IAF doesn't work is when the face is turned off to the side or when both eyes aren't visible. And in those situations, it just reverts back to face detection. So far, I'm really liking this new update. I think it's definitely a game changer when it comes to the EOS R. Let me know what you guys think of this new update down in the comments below. My name is Alex Chung, and I'll see you later. Bye.